An estimated one in eight women will get breast cancer in their lifetime. So the question is, what if you could take a vaccine that would significantly lower your chances of ever getting it? With that, we turn to Ashley Sharp. She joins us live with more on the groundbreaking vaccine and how it was developed in part right here in our own backyard, Ashley. Hey guys, well, this vaccine has Northern California roots, but the credit for the science behind it goes to the Cleveland Clinic. It's still in the trial stages, but researchers say that this shot could potentially one day eliminate breast cancer entirely. I spoke with the brave woman from Ohio who raised her hand and said, I'll be the first to take it. When Jennifer Davis heard the words, you have cancer, her mind instantly went to her family. It was very hard to tell them and um, try and just be strong for them. A 2018 biopsy found triple negative breast cancer, the disease's most deadly and aggressive form. Statistics on that were scary. After chemo, a double mastectomy and radiation, Jenny was free of cancer, but not the fear that lingers. I was always nervous and, and afraid of it coming back. So when she learned of a vaccine trial, a developmental drug to prevent breast cancer from coming back, she thought, what do I have to lose? It was something that was going to give me peace of mind. If this could work for me, then I wouldn't have to worry about a recurrence. Jenny was the first woman in the world to take the vaccine, researched for more than two decades at the Cleveland Clinic, then developed with Anixa Biosciences in San Jose. Is it in essence teaching your body not to grow a tumor? Is that what it does? That's exactly right. It's teaching your body to destroy the cells that can grow a tumor. 16 women, including Jenny, have now taken the vaccine in its first trial. The results are incredibly promising. The vision one day is going to be to be able to give this to any woman who wants to prevent cancer ever occurring in her body. A promising find for the future of fighting cancer that started with one woman. The bigger picture of this is really just overwhelming for me. But hopefully ends with every woman. Now, of the 16 women in this first trial, after two years, none reported bad side effects and none have had their cancer come back so far. The second trial is set to start next year, this time with 600 women. The hope is within five years they can get FDA approval to distribute this vaccine to the public.